everyone, I'm Ruby, and today I'm going to talk about my top 5 favorite Mega Evolutions. Mega Evolutions were introduced in Generation 6, and I'm sure you all know what they are by now, but just in case you don't, there are a thing that happens during battle when your Pokemon has a strong bond with you, but you need a special stone called a Mega Stone and a Keystone to do it. And almost, well not almost every Pokemon, but most Pokemon and has one, like a Mega, and Except for Gen 7, yeah. No Vegas in Gen 7, unfortunately. But that's okay, because we still got plenty to choose from. But these are my five favorites, so I hope you enjoy. Number five is Mega Mewtwo Y. Now, Mega Mewtwo Y was the first Mega I ever saw, and I didn't really know why it was. I thought it was just some bet new battle form they gave Mewtwo for the movie it was in. But. I, I like its design a lot. It looks more natural than Mega X. Mega Mewtwo X. Because it actually looks like an actual evolution and not like an, a forced alien thing. Like, what the heck are, are even are you, Mega, Mega Mewtwo X? But, I also like how its tail, like, goes from its head, where its tail is to its head. And, um, it kind of looks like Jesse actually, a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Like, Jesse and Celebi fused together, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and I find that kind of funny. I have, um, I have X, so I can't use it. And I, but I have Moon, so, actually, I never realized that. I can use it, never mind. But I'll definitely be using it the next time I use Mewtwo on my team. When, who knows, I'll probably use it eventually. Number four is Mega Altaria. Now, Mega Altaria is just a beautiful Pokemon, and the only fairy dragon type that we have thus far. But they should really make more of those, because it's a really cool type combination. Um, I really love everything about this Pokemon, from its design, to its typing, <laughs> like I just said, <laughs> sorry. And even, um, I don't know, I have, the fact I have a shiny one, yeah. I got it from the Ultra Wormhole, and I obviously used it and Mega Evolved it a bunch. I actually only caught it because I wanted to test to see if, um... Because I saved in the Ultra Wormhole, and I went to see if I got a Shiny, and then I got the Shiny Altaria. But I wanted to reset over it to see if it would still be Shiny, and it was. So, if I failed it, it wouldn't have counted, because it was for science. Yes, science. So I would have failed a Shiny for science, so don't judge me. But, it, luckily, it didn't change it into a normal one, and I have a shiny Altaria because of it. And, it's really beautiful, and I love it. Actually, it was, I remember the day I caught it, I caught seven shinies that day. It was crazy, man. <laughs> but, back on Mega Altaria, I just love everything about it. Although, I've seen a hacked version without its feathers, and it looks weird. Like, <laughs> really weird. So, I'm glad that it has all those feathers, even though it looks like a giant pillow, and I really, really want to lie on it. Number three is Mega Gardevoir. Okay, I like Mega Gardevoir because of its typing and its design, but, come on, there's only one reason why we all like it. It's shiny form. Like, come on, dude. You can't say you don't like that shiny. Black and blue shinies are my favorite shinies, and this is both of them. So, of course I love it. I did like Gardevoir before, and since I was a child when Pokemon came out, I didn't think of anything of it, so please no one say that in the comments. Um, what you would do with Gardevoir if you had one, because I just saw it as a Pokemon. <laughs> but the Mega Form didn't really improve on its design, but the shiny one did. I love the shiny one so much. Although, I think the heart bit, that it has would have been better if it stayed pink. And then, yeah. I also like how its chest is still white, so it actually looks like it's wearing an actual dress as well. But then again, so is Jinx. But then everyone hates Jinx. But then it's basically the same thing as Gardevoir. So that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't actually think of that until now. So, thank you Gardevoir, you're also making me think of stuff. Number two is Mega Charizard X. Okay, we, we all know why the X is more popular than the Y. Because it's actually a dragon! Well, the thing we've always wanted Charizard to be. 
because I always wanted Charizard to be a dragon type. And when Gen 6 came out, and Ch I found out Charizard's Mega was a dragon type, I, I was so happy. It's one of the reasons why I chose X over Y. That and Xerneas. I love if Xerneas and, um, Mega Charizard X weren't in the games, I probably would have picked Y. Or Mega Mewtwo Y. But, um, I also love its design, how it looks like a shiny Charizard. I think it's shiny isn't bad, like Mega Charizard X is shiny isn't bad, but I like regular shiny, shiny Charizard and Mega Charizard Y is shiny much better. They're black, so, like, black shiny is one of the best. <laughs> so, I'm not racist. <laughs> and, um, I also like how its fire is coming out of its mouth, and the fact that it's blue fire, like, come on, that's awesome. Blue fire is always awesome. And I used it in my playthrough of X, I think, yeah, I did. And I also used it in my playthrough of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So, that's how much I love Charizard X. I, although you can get both in each game, so I think that's cool, but still, I'd rather X over Y. And my number one favorite Mega Evolution is Absol. It's just so beautiful, okay? It should have been a fairy type, but I, it doesn't matter because it's one of the most beautiful Megas ever made. And I just, I need it in real life because I would ride that thing in real life. Even though its wings can't fly, I I would ride it 100%. I love everything about this Mega. And I even like it shiny. It looks like a freaking Valentine's Day angel or something. I thought that was really cool. And I even have a figure of one, but I can't be bothered to go get it. It's over there. <laughs> well, I'll show you it, it one day. And I just, I need it right now. I have, have been, yeah... No, I haven't used one because you only get the Mega Stone in the post game, unfortunately. So I haven't used one, but I probably will one day. But until then, I can just appreciate its design and its lore, because like it's just my it's the best Mega ever made, and it always will be. And no one can ever change my mind um, unless they introduce a new Mega that's better than it. But until then, it's always going to be my favorite Mega Evolution. Thank you for watching my top 5 favorite Mega Evolutions. And let me know who your favorite Mega is. And remember to like this video. And remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I'm Phoebe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!